In this tutorial we're going to take a look at connecting and reading analog data from potentiometer with Arduino Uno. This also works for other models of the Arduino, for example the Leonardo. I will be using Visual Studio as my ID uh, for this tutorial, but this code will work exactly the same way in the Arduino IDE. If you want to use Visual Studio, you can get Arduino for Visual Studio by going to Tools, uh, Extensions and Updates, and then simply search for Arduino, Arduino IDE for Visual Studio and download it. Then you're going to go to File, New, Arduino Project. All right. I've already created a project here, so I'm going to use this one. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the connections we're going to make. <clears throat> and now this kind of depends on what potentiometer you're using. For the one I'm using, um, as you can see, the left pin is connected to uh, 5 volts, the right pin connected to ground, and then the center pin is connected to analog in 0. So A0 will this be called in code, all right? And what this will do is uh, uh, let us read the uh, the uh, analog value from the potentiometer. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and write the code for that right now. So uh, open up uh, Visual Studio if you're using Visual Studio, or open up uh, the Arduino IDE if you're using the Arduino IDE. The code will work exactly the same way in uh, Arduino IDE. So let's <coughs> start by creating the input. So let's create a new uh, data type int variable. We can call this potentiometer pin. And it's gonna be A0, right? So potentiometer pin is gonna take input from A0. And A0 is then this, of course, right? We're also gonna create a data type uh, variable called val for value. Uh, and let's just set it to zero. So this uh, variable here will hold the value that we're reading from uh, the potential meter pin A0, all right? We're gonna print that out later. Then we're gonna define the setup function, which uh, runs one for the Arduino. It uh, is used for initializing data such as variables and pin modes. We're simply just gonna use one function here and that's gonna be serial begin. I'm gonna set it to 9600. This sets the data rate to 9600 9, bits per second for serial, serial data transmission. All right. Then we're gonna go down here. We're gonna create a loop function. <laughs> and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say val. So this variable here, which is currently set to zero is going to be equal to analog read which is a default arduino function and we want to read the potential meter pin right <coughs> so we're reading the uh, uh, potential meter pin with analog read now the way this works, the analog read function is that uh, the Arduino IDE will map input voltages between zero and the operating voltage, which, which is five volt in this case, into integer values between one and uh, 1070, uh, 1023, sorry. <coughs> so we just can write uh, the common here. Uh, map values uh, to between 0 and 1023 so the minimum value when the potential meter is turned all the way down will be 0 and the max value when it's turned all the way up will be 1023 right then we're going to use the serial uh, print line function library and function uh, to uh, simply print a line uh, if you're used to C or C++ this is uh, basically the same thing as uh, um, C out 
So we're just gonna say zero print line and what we're gonna print is the val, right? So the value we're getting from the potentiometer. And then we're gonna say delay one and this is a built-in uh, function in uh, Arduino uh, which delays the entire program for uh, given the, and the given time in, uh, in microseconds. So this is gonna be, we're gonna delay the time for one microsecond here. Just keep in mind that if you're using delay uh, and have a lot of other functions and stuff in your code, this will actually delay the entire program, not just this part. So if you get code down here, uh, it's gonna delay until it starts executing the code down here, right? So keep that in mind, there are better ways instead of the, the delay if you have, uh, absolutely have to use it. So that's it for the code. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug in my Arduino Uno in the computer, in the USB port. So let's see. <clears throat> now it's connected. And I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, hit build and upload. And as you can see, we're uploading potentiometer to Arduino Uno using COM3, and the upload process has finished. So I'm gonna click connect. And now we're getting the port open here and it starts streaming. Now if you don't have this uh, serial monitor open, you can simply just click the serial monitor here. And if you're using the Arduino... Uh, Arduino ID, you can simply just uh, press uh, the serial monitor. So now let's see what happens if we spin the potentiometer. So as you can see, it's giving the correct values here. So now it's turned down all the way and slowly turning up. And now we're at the maximum for the potentiometer. All right. So now a couple of more things you can do easily in your code is let's, for example, instead of uh, zero print line val, let's, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and reconnect Arduino here cause it's I have to disconnect my keyboard to connect Arduino. So let's uh, create an if statement here. Say if val is bigger than, let's say 500, for example. Then let's go ahead of serial print line. Potential meter uh, value bigger than 500. Let's also say else if val is uh, smaller than 400 zero print line and let's say potentiometer value smaller than 400 let's remove this let's remove the delay and let's see what happens if we go ahead and uh, reconnect Arduino <coughs> build the code and then run this so yeah, it's gonna start by turning it down all the way now it's at zero so you can see potential meter value smaller than 400 let's get and turn it up slowly so now we're somewhere in between 400 and 500, and it's, it's not giving any output at all. And then let's turn it up, and now we're at the maximum. And then of course the value is bigger than 500, and that's what it's telling us. So that's how you connect a potentiometer to Arduino, uh, and write a little code to deal with the data. Thank you, bye bye.